Good afternoon and welcome and congratulations to the class of 2017. Thank you for the honor to speak at today's commencement on behalf of the NYU Steinhardt family. I came from abroad to pursue my graduate studies, encouraged by my mentor, Buddhist philosopher Daisaku Ikeda, who advised me to study in order to benefit others. He said, study voraciously so that you may help suffering individuals find happiness. Whatever hardship you may encounter, never lose sight of the purpose of your studies. I have pondered this counsel all through my journey at Steinhardt. As I reflected, I asked myself this question. What is it that unites us all? I realized that it was this one single common denominator, the common denominator of being human. This realization sensitized me to the fact that every program at Steinhardt, whether it was applied psychology, art, education, drama, health, media, or music, shared the abiding values of touching, connecting, and impacting human life. We, who have had the good fortune to earn a master's degree, should ask ourselves this question. But for what purpose have I obtained this education? Is it not to help those who are suffering? Is it not to impart joy to people? Is it not to touch hearts and catalyze change in lives, one life at a time? I recall many conversations with friends here at NYU. We asked each other, is empathy overrated? Is sensitivity overrated? Is compassion overrated? Deeply discussing these questions, we realized that it was someone's empathy that helped us survive our challenges. It was another sensitivity that made us feel understood. It was a third person's compassion that made us believe in the potential of our lives. And it was the warm encouragement of that someone that helped transform helplessness into hope. Reality may have been overwhelming for many of us, and while optimism may seem cliche, I wonder, is there a choice to being optimistic? Ultimately, what is it that helps us transform pessimism? What is it that helps us gravitate towards hope? It is the heartfelt, genuine, and authentic interaction of one human heart with another, one person with another. The tragedy of life is the death of genuine feeling, the death of inspired response, the death of the awareness that makes it possible for us to feel the pain of another individual in our own selves. Suffering makes us realize that we are human, but it is empathizing with the suffering of another person <coughs> that makes us know we are truly human. How is it that we empathize to be truly human? It is the change that happens in our hearts. Our bank accounts and our pockets may be empty after our <coughs> stint at NYU. <laughs> but our hearts need not be empty. In this world of connectivity, where the stock market makes longer and bigger news than genocide, even a seemingly small gesture that can have a significant and perhaps <coughs> decisive impact on the person to whom it is offered. Each one of us here has the capacity to be a catalyst for positive transformation. If each Steinhardt graduate here can resolve to touch the heart of one person, actively embrace the richness of one person's existence, 
ignite hope in the life of one person and continue to do so one after another, would we not have created the revitalization of the human heart? Gratitude is an integral part of being human. And on behalf of each graduating student, I sincerely express my heartfelt appreciation to every single family member, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, husbands, wives, partners, cousins, friends, faculty members, administrative staff, each and every one of you who have been the seen and unseen heroes of our lives, each one of you that did not give up on us, the class of 2017. I'm deeply indebted to Buddhist philosopher Daisaku Ikeda for helping me pick up the pieces, put the pieces together, and making a new mirror. Thank you so much.